So in today's video, I'm gonna be changing out the speakers to my car. I'll be comparing my stock speakers to my my new speakers. The speakers that I got are the I got two pairs of these, so it's for the front and for the back. So it's the bottom left driver, um, bottom right passenger, and then the two back ones. If you're new here, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram right here. I'm usually posting on there. Yeah, so let's get to it. But that's what it's like um, with my stock speakers. And the songs are semi clear, but it's not as loud. I have a 2014 Honda Accord, and the main components to taking off the door panel is this pillar, there's a control panel, and then there's like a little insert point you can take this off and it'll have some screws behind there screws behind here and that's just so you can lift the door up and take it out just pull it it has this green tab you just put it into the hole just pull it so it pops off okay so that exposes the two phillips just want to tw twist it and it'll pop right off like that. and then you want to go ahead and disconnect this point and this point. Take that one out. And then same for this one. There we go. You want to disconnect this or squeeze it so it pops off and it disconnects from the door. Okay. It's as simple as that. So yeah, I popped it off. Let's get the Phillips. These in here. And it should come off. Then with your hand, you can just go ahead and pull it off. And pull up. And now, we gotta pull these, these tabs in here. You don't wanna pull it off. Like that. And remove it. And take that off from the locking me mechanism. Same thing for the other one. And then you unravel it and lift like that and it should fully come off. So this is my old one. And then you put it on here. Like that. Pop it out right like that. And disconnect it. There you go. So this is my old speaker. This will be my new one. Mm -hmm. Huge difference in weight for sure. This one's lighter. This one's way heavier than my stock one. It looks way better. This one has a tweeter in it. I don't know what this one is. Like, so the adapter plate that the website included they didn't fit the speaker. All these tabs are blocking the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out a way to cut those off. Maybe it's blocking it. So I cut these parts out. The only thing that remains is these hooks in the original hole. But I also noticed that once I place it in there, it still moves a little bit. These other holes, I drill a hole into the adapter itself and screw it down so it doesn't move. So then once I finally uh, finish installing it, it won't move. I had to saw it off the tabs and then I put a insulation so that it doesn't move. And that's how it fits. So now I gotta put everything back together. So I already changed the speakers to the front passenger and driver's doors. So now I'm gonna do a test on just those two doors before I go ahead and install these to put into the back. From just changing the front speakers, I know a different or I notice a difference. Sounds really good, really clear, really loud, way less bass. That's why I'm gonna get a silver for 
So it's time to put the back ones. So in order to get to the back panels to take this cover off, I'm gonna have to remove the seat. This panel, take this off. Lift this so I could take this main part out. So I already went ahead, take off the pins that's holding that. For doing that, it will reveal these bolts and we'll be able to take off this chair. And after that, I finally got to my back speakers. Then I unbolt it. I'm pretty sure I could access them the ports through the here. Take the screw off, unhook these, like that. The weather stripping along here so I can have a, a closer seal so that once it goes on here, no sound is uh, like rattling. So this is how it goes. As such. And then it goes like that. Here on there. Ain't going nowhere. Old one, new one. So I'll show this for one side. So this is underneath the speaker. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug it in. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in this foam. Tape it with Tesla tape so that for whatever reason, it won't like rattle or hit anything and make a weird noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process for the left side and we can do a sound test. As you can see, everything back together. We're gonna do the last test. I hope you guys enjoyed that video comparison of stock versus the new speakers. If you're new here, subscribe down below. If you like the video, like the video. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm always posting on there. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.